Hello, in this question, it's really just a monopoly analysis, except there's two demand curves. So uh, the question itself didn't come with a graph, so I found one that, that might, look, might express something similar. Uh, so the, there's two demand curves, and I'm going to draw on them in red. Okay, so this one right here, this is M1, and M1 has a marginal revenue curve, that dotted line, which is inside of it. And then we'll do, how about this green color here? This is uh, the second demand curve, that's M2, and uh, it's got its marginal revenue curve in, on the inside there. Okay, so the uh, it says in which market is demand. Let's do three first, or C question for C first. Which market is demand more elastic? So it's gonna be the flatter, more stretchy um, demand curve there. So um, when when demand curves are more steep, they are less elastic, um, and so the whole curve itself is is. Um, less elastic for m1 you can say it that way and more elastic is m2 okay so for um a and b what it's really asking about is the using profit maximization so anytime you see profit maximization uh you want to look for the quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost so question a where the firm's profit in market one Okay, so we want to know what is the profit maximizing quantity. So we're going to go, it's a little bit messy because of all the stuff we've got on this graph, but we're going to go to where marginal revenue meets marginal cost, and we're going to call that 40. Okay, so we're going to say that the quantity in the market is 40. And then because this firm has a monopoly, they can charge a price. You just follow that up to where it hits the demand curve. Price is going to be 60. Okay. So the longer way to do this would be to calculate total revenue, which would be uh, 2,400 because it's 40 times 60. Total revenue is price times quantity. And then total cost is gonna be the marginal cost times the number of units. So that's gonna be 20 times, how many units are we doing? 40, so that is gonna be uh, 800. Did I do too many? No, that's right. Okay, so then profit for this one would be 2,400 minus 800, which would be 1,600. So the profit for 1,600 is, is for A. Now B, I'm going to do uh, the faster way without calculating total revenue and just show you a different way on how to do this. Um, so the quantity in this market, we're going to go to where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That happens right here. So we're going to call that 30, just the way that the graph is drawn there, 30. And then we mark up the price to where it hits the demand curve. So that's price of 35. So the difference between the price and the marginal and average cost here um, is 15. So they're going to make $15 per unit profit. So profit is going to be 15 times the number of units. So we're gonna sell 30 units. So we'll sell, um, so that'd be 450 would be the profit on uh, facing demand curve B. Now there's another problem that's a little more complicated where we're um, trying to pick one price for both of these demand curves. You would add those demand curves together and recalculate, or um, you could also do what's called price discrimination. There you go, that's how to solve monopoly uh, analysis on uh, when you've got two demand curves.